Greetings. Today's video is demonstrating how the work orders feature works within the Autosys platform. Uh, first thing, like always, you want to go ahead and go to the garage section on the left where all your vehicles and assets will be listed. I went ahead and clicked on unit 100 and now I only see records for unit 100 on the right hand panel. I went ahead and scrolled over to work orders and this is where all your work orders will be listed. Uh, you can see here they have different statuses. Uh, the ones that are overdue will also have a notification bubble here uh, next to the vehicle um, as well as on the mobile app. People will be able to submit new work orders through the web portal here as well as on our mobile app that's available for both iOS and Android. To uh, submit a work order, when you click on add work order, you can see here all the corresponding fields. Uh, you can attach uh, files uh, such as images, documents, or anything to reference on the work order. It'll generate a work order number for you automatically. You could always uh, edit this. So if you already have a system in place and you want to start from, let's say, work order number 100, you can do that. And then the next one you add will go to 101 and so on. Um, you could put the title here. Again, it'll remember um, you know, your uh, history so you can... Um, uh, select from the drop down. Um, you can enter in the odometer. Here you can put the issue date, uh, the due date, and then the start date. Uh, one of the nice features with the work order system is it can track how much time it takes from start to finish. Uh, so when you put in the start date and time, and then when you complete the work order, it will automatically calculate how long that took. Um, you could also assign the work order to multiple people. So if you have different users, um, they would show up in this drop down menu and you can actually assign the work order to those specific people. You could create the priority level. Um, and then you can also modify the different statuses here that we have. And then you can also enter in a custom status if you want to do something uh, more custom. And uh, here you can have the additional details. So uh, while they're doing the oil change, let's say they need to check fluids and uh, you know check the brakes, you could line item all the different things you'd like for the work order, add any additional notes. And then again, um, like all our sections within Autosys, you could add as many custom fields as you'd like and really kind of personalize it um, like you, you wish. So once this is done, you can then create it and hit save. And then this will send out immediate notifications to everybody that's assigned to the work order, letting them know that, hey, this work order was created and um, uh, it will then you know take them through the process where they can start uh, doing the work order and marking it complete and so on. Uh, work orders can also be generated from the reminders section. So if you go into the reminder and let's say you have an oil change here that you need to complete, you can actually create the work order right from the uh, reminder so that it'll carry over all the information for you automatically. It can also generate work orders from the inspection section. So everything is linked together. So let's say this daily check that was done by Joe back in uh, March 24th. If I click on that, it looks like the brake pads were low. So if you wanted to generate a work order and even if there's multiple issues listed, you can hit create work order from here as well. And then that will generate the work order and carry over all the different items. If there are more than one issue on the inspection, it will list out all the different items here uh, that are part of the inspection. And then when you create the work order, it is linked to that inspection so that whenever you mark the uh, work order completed, it will clear uh, it from the inspection section as well as the reminder. So that is the work orders feature. We do also have the dashboard here. So again, this is all specific to unit 100. But if you'd like to see uh, kind of on a global scale of what's going on for the entire fleet, you can click on the dashboard icon. And then here um, you could see a work order that you have 12 open and three due. You could also click here on the work order button itself and see all the different work orders for the entire fleet and kind of filter accordingly. We hope you found this video helpful. If you have any additional questions on how to better manage your fleet, please give us a call toll free at 888-316-5877 or you can email us at info at autosys.com. You can also see more product demo videos and information via our website at autosys.com.